So, the brickwork game. Shit. What made you get into brickwork in the first place, Andy? Me? Yeah. Oh. Oh dear, I don't know. I uh, left school. I did all chucked out of school really and went and further education and really didn't do a lot there. And um, where I live, um, there's, there's a lot of greenhouses and that. The whole place is swamped in greenhouses in the right. 20s and 30s and 40s. Um, there's none there now, they've all been put down and houses built. So there was a lot of greenhouse builders in our area. Yeah. Um, my mate's dad was one. Uh, this was at the time when we was building aluminium greenhouses, putting wood and ones down and building aluminium ones. Yeah. So I would work with them all over the country. And there was, well, it was like a block work apron all the way round. Round the bottom. Yeah, round the bottom. Yeah. So I sort of got involved in that and I liked that. Um, picked up a bit of block work and then... Um, the rest, the rest of history. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I, I was, what happened was, uh, in between jobs, because we earned good money, we was earning more money than all the apprentices, everything. Yeah. I was only like 17, I suppose, 16, 17, 18, 17, 17. Um, So I went to my local pub one day, um, and the geeks were locked in. So they were working, and he went down, so we between jobs. He was a bit old for me, he's got a carrier. He said, there's an old carrier job going over, he said, I just got fucking sacked. Ah. So I thought, that'd do me. Yeah. So I went over there, I got the job. Um, never had a fucking clue what I was doing. Uh, and then half hour, they sussed me out. Yeah. Uh, the bloke just see something in me, the subby, and he kept me on, stuck up with an older bricklayer, an older on carrier. Yeah. And he actually only lived across the road from me, the subby, oh, right. and I didn't know. Uh, so oh, I, I stayed with him for a couple of years. Yeah, done your time to him. This all, yeah, and um, then I got myself in college, which yeah. was then, it was the government training scheme. What, YTS? No, 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 it was a government training centre, and what it was, you did, it was two years apprenticeship condensed into six months. Okay. So you went to college five days a week. Yeah. You'd done four and, four and a half days of practical, and half a day of theory, so it was the whole two years into six months. They'd done every trade. Yeah. And you vetted quite a bit to get into it, you know. Not anyone could get in, that, 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 all old boys, old school bricklayers. Yeah. So if they thought you weren't going to make it, you weren't going to get into college, you know Right. Mean? Um, and, yeah, and the manufacturer started that. And I don't know why they ever stopped. At the time, some people frowned upon it and said, so, uh, you know, they ain't done a proper apprenticeship and all that and the other. But most people have had two, three, four years' experience on site before they even went into that college. Yeah. You know, they, they were good odd carriers, so. Knew, knew the game, yeah, just so didn't I, have the, the actual the time yeah. to go on site to actually do right. the practical. Yeah. Some of the best bricklayers I know came up off of them courses. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's how I got into it. And I've come out of there. Um, what they did, they found your job straight away as an improver, which right. came out of college. It was that organised, unless you, own, you had your own job to go to. Yeah. So they put us on at me and uh, a mate of mine, and a job at Edbuild, it was an hospital, private hospital. And it was proper calibrated, your face work, rock work breaked out. Yeah. We'd have been a fucking clue. Wow. <laughs> Uh, oh. well, I had two weeks on there, and one of the other blokes on the, I was on the, in college with, he rang me up and said, a job in Holland, fancy. And the rest is history, really. Yeah, I didn't really there. work in England for five years. Uh, I was out in Holland and Germany. And it was quite strange, really, because when I came back to England, a lot of people were fucking called her. A lot of people called her for years, do you know what I mean? She's, she's all profiles. Yeah. Uh, over there. And, uh, and things were hitting me in the face, like how, how rough it was over here, you know, hanging wall ties out for partition walls and things like that, you know, and all yeah. everything was bonded in properly. Bonded in, yeah. Um, yeah, but then yeah, I stayed here a couple of years, and went to Australia, and uh, just, so that went on really, I'm fucking still doing it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I always wanted to travel anyway, that's why I like building the greenhouses, because we travel around the country. Yeah, so, it's, it's nice to, to move from side to side, isn't it? It's got to be all around the world. Yeah. No bricks. Yeah. Uh, even just by making money in this country, about being able to afford to go places. Yeah. And I've worked in a lot of countries, you know, I've worked in Australia. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's my story, really. Yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The day has come. It's fucking good about it. <laughs> We're going to climb up a mountain. Here we are, me and Andy. Hey. We're going up. We're on a little drive now from the, uh, from Whitehaven. Waverley Hotel, it was rather convivial, lovely breakfast this morning. 
now we're off to the foot of the hill. Let's do it. Oh yeah. guys to appreciate what I'm seeing right now and driving through. Have a look at this. There's the Bad Boy Mountain, look. Disappearing into the clouds. It's like the Lord of the Rings out here. What do you reckon, Andy? Cool? I feel sick. Feel sick? Look at this, man. It's like a massive, massive lake here. Huge waves. Must be windy. It's not raining yet, ladies and gents. Have a look at this, look. Down, Maria. Down. Oh, fuck Hello, look. Have a look at that, I'm ladies sure and gents. Look, Fluffy pig, look, he's been graffitied up. Free hey, oh, look at this, ladies and gents. <laughs> wow. This is proper stuff, I tell you. They're gay, aren't they? They're gay. Gay sheep, they're pink. Pink sheep. He's, he's ident he identifies. Oh! oh. <laughs> he identifies as a fluffy pig. <laughs> this is mental. Proper. We are here. Where are we going? We're going up there. We're going up there. But we're going that way. Yeah. Like that, the red route. I think the are there. No idea. That's where we're going, from Lakehead Car Park, up the Red Route, so all the way up to Scarfell Pike. What does that say? Can be challenging, take care to ensure that we turn to the right valley. It's easy to go wrong. Really? There we go. Right. Happy days, follow the Red Route. Oh, no, it's Boom. Let's go. Let's do it. Tricky Briggy and Andy Paddy from Rickdales Worldwide. We're going up the hill. Boom, and here she is. Hello, darling. Oh, cattle grid. What, which way do we go? Over the beach. <laughs> Look at this, ladies and gents. Wow, picturesque already. <laughs> Look at that. <coughs> well, where we go, Andy? I suppose we've uh, we've set off, haven't we? Uh, you can say that. <coughs> Got a bit of a walk ahead of us. It started with a piece. <laughs> Got a big task ahead of us. Morning. Do you think the game's changed much in the last sort of ten years? Probably the last 20 years. The last 20 years. Yeah, health and safety has just changed it dramatically. That's, that's what's really the biggest change in the yeah, game, isn't it? Without doubt, it's changed. Yeah. No, nothing's any really different, really. What's different? Cavies have got bigger, haven't they? Cavies yeah. have got bigger, on not they? You've got a small dog down one now, can't you? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, you can get down. your hand down and we'll start it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's a change. But, no. Uh, Brickwork. I found, I found, like, the, uh, when I first started out, we always used to do brickwork first. Yeah. And then do, the block, do. do the block. <laughs> yeah, do the block work it's on site. Yeah. Now obviously people are doing the block work first so you can point the back of the block work in it. Yeah, what's that about? It's rubbish. It's, it's, it's I small, understand small, you have to do it if you put an original insulation in. Yeah. But to do your brickwork first, why does the inside of the block work be pointed? I think it's to ensure that they fill the joints up in it. That's just bad brick though, isn't it? That's yeah. all that joint in the front. I don't do it in front of my block work. No, nah, no. Nah. I don't. I don't know. I'll make sure it's We're possible. doing it on this house because Dane does, you know what I mean? So I'll just go with the flow. Yeah, follow. But my joints are full. I don't need to. Nah. But there isn't one um, approved document, even on the NHBC, which says you have to join your block work up. It just says the joints have to be full and airtight. Yeah, full. So, yeah. This should be fun. Oh. If the sheep can get up there, <laughs> so can I. Get 
brace of fresh air, Andy, innit? Get the, get the freshness into your lungs. Doesn't it make you feel good to be alive? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Something else here, ladies and gents. So I've, I've got myself a couple of bottles of Lucas Aid, some Jaffa cakes. Here we go, good stretch out. Right then, which way do we go? She said bare left. If it's anything like I walked home last night from the pub, we could be up here for a while. I don't think we get a taxi from up here. Wow. Well, this is the fun beginning, ladies and gents. We're getting rocky already. Lovely old job. Bit of building work going up here, the first First, I don't think there'll be many more building sites up this hill. It's probably the last building site we'll see for a while. <laughs> well, we've done the first 10 metres, ladies and gentlemen, and we're still alive. Don't know how we're going to get on with the other 900. <laughs> There's Andy there on the bridge. Oi, oi! Yeah. We're getting up there now, ladies and gents. Have a look at that. Worm. We've got a big chunk of the way up so far, but we've got a lot more to do. It's out there to the top, baby. Top, baby. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Here we go, we got across the stream now. Oi oi. Stop be shy. Straight through it. Bosh. Bosh, 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 draw tricky, bosh, 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 bosh. Yeah, boy, happy day, straight through, no messing, ha ha. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the halfway point, here we go, Andy's coming up here now, here he is. Oi, 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 oi. how you feeling, bro? Fucked. He feels fucked, ha ha ha. It's good for the soul. Yeah, boy, we're getting up here anyway. We're halfway up. Feels like we're further, but we're not. <laughs> Every step one more in the right direction. Lovely old job. Get it up, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So whenever you're seeing one of these videos, you'll be informed. Oh, yeah. Come a little bit hard now. Your legs are starting to warm up a bit. And it's like every step's like another brick in the wall. One nearer the end. Happy days. Ha ha. Feel like Gollum going up here. Proud Trixie having to up the stairs for go. <laughs> oh dear, lovely. I'm not gonna lie, people, this is getting hard now. Soak through. Oh. We're getting up there, the peaks are falling now. Oh. And he's now. He's all pushed on, he's with some level. I'm trying to keep him in momentum moving. Keep pushing. Oh god. All up in the clouds. Happy days. It's getting hard now, ladies and gentlemen. Getting a proper high now. The rocks, oi oi! 
we're getting right near the top. Oh, we Andy's uh, way back now, I think. I've had to leave him behind, each man for himself. <laughs> God. Here we go. Just forever looking for the easiest route to climb up. Oh, it's getting nasty now. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> look at this man, he's doing it in shorts, look. What a man, two of them. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, oh. oh have a great this. Been uh, having a nice cold pint of Stella right now. Instead, I'm up the mountain. Get up, ya. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> One step nearer the end, aye, aye. Yeah, boy. Still pushing. Still pushing up. Oh, man. Got to be near the peak now, I tell you. Right up in the clouds. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, -ho. I like to know how high I am. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm way up, that's for sure. Oh dear, probably the highest brick layer in the UK right now. <laughs> yeah boy, let's get up the hill. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, look at these piles of rocks up here. Like this, people have died on this very mountain. So, God bless your soul, whoever that was. And there's a few more fellas up here who can't sit up here. I can see why. Bloody wet and windy. Shut at the think what it'd be like if there was snow on it. Oh, be bitter. Got a ball bag to shrink up. <laughs> Back down. <laughs> Happy days. Well, I made it up. Oi, oi, I don't know where it is. I made it up to the top. Oh, yeah, baby. Now it's time to walk back down the mountain. Cool ah! on there, Trinity. I'm hoping Andy's back at the car. Haha. <laughs> Bravo. Been good. I'm about halfway down. Laughing. Just caught a fall there. Oi oi. We found Andy. Look, there he is. Oi oi. We're soaking wet. But we're on the way back down now. It can't be far now, can it, Andy? It ain't that far from here, is it? About half hour, I reckon. Get down there. I'd love a bit of white water rafting as I'm feeling extreme. <laughs> Here we go. Back on the bridge. Yay! Happy days. <laughs> we made it across the bridge. Yeah. Big dog. Look, a broken man. <laughs> it hasn't been the easiest of days, I can tell you. The weather has not made it easy. But the warriors that we are, still had a crack at it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I got to the top, baby. Look at this Thirsty, but I've got it. Very thirsty. <laughs> uh, that first, I drank two dogs of wine last night. Like that this morning, still thirsty. I can't work it 